Now it's good to start with a prayer, but a prayer is not enough. We have work to do. The good news is I'm a praise the Lord and pass the ammunition type of Christian. So we're going to need a lot of ammunition. Now, why do we start with a prayer? We have unconstitutional governments. They have no authority to make any laws. We know this. We have a treasonous bureaucracy that is directed by foreign powers. We have a compromised judiciary and their lust for children is only exceeded by their desire for cocaine. We have a cowardly military that are answering directions from overseas. The leadership of our police forces is utterly corrupted. We have a foreign-owned media and a foreign-owned academia that is changing this nation to their desires, but not ours. We have business and unions trading and profiting with the same Chinese Communist Party that is kill currently killing our people. They make billions while we die. How did we get here? How did we get here? Selfishness! Because if we don't know that, the moment this ends, we go back to what we were. And we don't want a pre-COVID Australia. We are only suffering this because the pre-COVID Australia was a bad place to be. So we need to know. Communism is not an ideology for the working class. It is a control mechanism by the globalists to enslave you. That's all communism is. Now, how do we know this? They had their plans up decades ago. And let me just give you a small taste of what their plans were back in the 50s. So for 70 years, they've been doing this. This is how we got here. This is what they wanted to do. They wanted to do away with all loyalty oaths. They wanted to capture one or both political parties. Well, they've done that. They got control of schools. They softened the curriculum. They got control of the teachers' unions to put the party line into the curriculum. They gained control of all student newspapers. They used student riots to foment public protests. Now this is 1950s, people. How long have we been suffering under these directions? Gain control of key positions in radio, TV, motion pictures, infiltrate and gain control of the more unions. Discredit the family as an institution and encourage promiscuity and easy divorce. Emphasize the need to raise children away from the negative influence of their parents. This is what has been imposed upon us for 70 years and we didn't know. But I'll tell you who did know. This document is an Australian federal government document. It is a report by the Senate Committee on Defence and Foreign Affairs. It is dated February 1980 and it is called the New International Economic Order Implications for Australia. So since at least 1980, and this document says that we have to strip our sovereignty, strip our economy, strip our autonomy, our self-reliance, and hand it to somebody else. And what this document means is that every government, every Prime Minister, every leader of the opposition, every Senator, has been complicit in the betrayal of our country. We're here today and we know this is not about health. This is not a health issue, we know that. The evidence is overwhelming. This is about tyrannical control of enslaving us, killing us, and then handing the land back to somebody who thinks they own it. Well, I've got some bad news for them and some good news for us. We're not gonna let them do it. But we have to do it. We can't let anybody else do it. We have to win our own victory. We have to win our own freedom. All of us together. Now we don't need everybody, we just need enough. 
Now, what's our intention? Our job, our mission is to save Australia. Very simple, save Australia. And that's every Australian, and we don't care where you came from. You're all Australians here. How are we gonna do it? We need to empower every individual Australian to stand up for themselves. That's the only way we can win. Every one of us stands up. Every one of us. All of you here are awake. You know it. By your example, you've got to start bringing the rest of the country with you. Because we're not enough yet. We need millions to stand up and say, no more. We are going to bring this country to a standstill. Nothing will move. Nothing will move without our say-so. And we have to do it. We are going to down tools and just stop work. From this moment on, until we win. Don't go back to work. You ring up, take sick leave, stress leave, whatever you need to do. Don't turn up to work. They can't sack you, they won't sack you. And if they do, by next year you'll be back in employment. We must do this from today. To, from today, Australia is now on strike. Yes. Has this worked before? Yes. Here in Australia, companies are ringing up their workers saying, if you're not vaccinated, you can't come to work, so you better get vaxxed. Well, the workers are saying, fuck that. They don't turn up, and guess what happens? Within a few hours, the company says, please come back to work. When you realise the power you have, and how quickly you can end this, you won't believe it. This is over when we say it's over, and I reckon we should start today. This ends when we say it ends, and I say it ends now. Ladies and gentlemen, from today, Australia is on strike until those bastards get out of our lives. Thank you very much.